Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, <clears throat> today is February the 11th. Uh, first, I want to say, please excuse my voice. I'm a little stuffy. I've got this sinus infection kind of cold thing going on. Given the fact that we had some warm weather and then we're back into some colder weather, it just kind of got me all screwed up a little bit. But, <clears throat> excuse me. So, today's video topic is going to be on baits that have got me success uh success baits that i've been using <coughs> excuse me mm. for this winter uh baits that i've been catching fish on here in north carolina so without further ado we're gonna get right into it guys uh in this video i'm gonna give you a couple clips on some baits that i've been using and i've been catching fish on as of lately so the number one bait that has got me the most success is the Bill Lewis Rattle Trap. I know I've been, done some previous videos on this same Rattle Trap or different colors, so to speak. So, <clears throat> but this one in particular gave me the most success, which was the, the shad pattern, the gizzard shad pattern. Not only that, I've been catching them on the honey crawl pattern here as well. Don't have any hooks, I'm switching my hooks out to trap a tackle, but I just want to go over some. Uh, tips on what lures to use and why <clears throat> so for instance this honey crawl is like that crawl pattern you know at some point in time in the winter time they're going to be feeding on crawls they're going to be feeding looking down that's one of the reasons why i like to throw in a honey crawl or an all red pattern like this and as far as shad this kind of just goes with the water clarity as far as bait fish and then shad and then lakes or most of the time you don't have too many ponds that have shad in them but some people can stop fish with shad this will work as well and another thing they're not always going to be feeding looking down looking for those crayfish or crawls they're going to be up following bait fish or small bait fish as I'm like this spinner bait here. All white spinner bait has been a good good lure for me this this season as far as winter. And it can work throughout the whole year. So I was gonna throw a couple clips in here for you guys to check out to see what I mean as far as these lures, what I've been catching on. First off, we're gonna go with not that one. We're gonna go off with this this crawl pattern here, this honey crawl. And this particular bass, I pitched at this <clears throat> piece of structure a couple times before I got bit, but he swiped at it. He missed it and got the, the hooks in his tail. So this lets me know that he was chasing it, but he swiped and missed and got hooked. So here we go, guys. Check it out. There we go. There we go. Where you at, baby? Is it five hooks? Yep. <laughs> I think that's something. Got him in a tail. How did that happen? He wanted it. He swiped it. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Felt when you swiped at it. He must have just attacked it really fast. Oh, he was barely hooked. Right in the tail. Who would have thought? Nice one there. I gave him about three pounds. Nice solid chunk, guys. Just wonder why he was pulling so hard. He had leverage on me.
Alright guys, so you saw in that video that he swapped it and I had these trapper tackle troubles on this particular bait here at the at that time. <clears throat> it was lets me know that he was feeding, he just was either maybe I was running too fast or overly aggressive, one of the two, he missed it and swiped at it. One of the lures that I like to use for the winter time is that crop pattern. So here is another clip of me catching, well actually missing one and I'll throw out a picture of one that I actually did catch on this all white War Eagle spinnerbait with the white, with the silver and gold blades here. So check it out guys. There we go. Oh! Oh my goodness. Sheesh. So there you have it guys, two of the lures that I like to use, two lures that have been giving me the most success throughout this winter season. Last year I was catching pretty good on slower baits like the net rig, which is a, a pretty good, actually it's an excellent bait all year long. I just like to fish a little bit faster at times, but when I know they're feeding heavier, they're feeding, they're chasing more, I'm not going to pick up that net rig, I'm going to pick up a moving bait, given the conditions, given this over, uh, overcast conditions, cloudy days, uh, the, the water clarity and so on and so forth so for one as far as using a spinnerbait i'm going to use a spinnerbait when i know that they're actually in a, in a chasing mood when they're feeding looking up when they're up shallow or when they're chasing bait fish when you see bait fish getting popped up out of the water getting chased by bass you're going to want to throw something that kind of matches the hatch as far as the size of the bait that they're actually eating like these little small willow leaf blades here <clears throat> and you got an all white skirt on this <clears throat> excuse me war eagle spinnerbait that's gonna be one of the things i'm gonna like to throw in the winter time when we got some consistent wind over the course of two to three days maybe not really heavy winds but enough that's gonna push those bait fish up shallow for those bass to ambush and eat they're not gonna always be looking for that crawl pattern of those crayfish they're gonna be looking for shads they're gonna be looking for spinnerbaits so those are two of the key reasons why, <clears throat> excuse me, I like to throw moving baits as far as spinning baits and rattle traps. As far as this rattle trap, as far as the crawl pattern, what I'm going to do with this, when they're actually feeding looking down, I'm going to yo yo it off the bottom pretty erratically. I'm going to cast it out one cast, let it hit the bottom, yo yo it. When I feel some grass, pop, pop, I'm going to rip it out of the grass. That's going to create a reaction bite. So, guys, and also another color that is a natural color, blue, bluegill pattern. They're not going to always be feeding on little minnows or shads or crawls. They're going to be feeding on bluegill as well. And this color can work all year long, you know, as far as when the bass stop, they're spawning <clears throat> and they, they pull off to feed when those bluegill move up to, to spawn. This is going to be a good bait to use, so keep that in mind, guys. So these are just a few tips, a few uh, techniques, a few things that I've been using over the past month or two, since January to mid-February right now, and they've been working pretty good for me. You got your shads, you got your, your all-white spinner baits with the <clears throat> willowy blades, and you got your crawl patterns. Bluegill, that's coming up next, guys, especially when they're spawning stars when they're, they're chasing off bluegill around their beds and, and and when they pull off to start feeding when the bluegill are up on their beds spawning good things to use so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already guys and i'll catch you on the next episode peace